Okay, this is, um, this is an example of an energy recovery unit with a heat wheel. Um, they do make a simpler version. So you, you might, uh, some of you guys in the field might have seen the smaller uh, energy recovery units. Uh, that's what they call a plate exchanger. And it's really just two air streams crossing um, ductwork that's touching each other, essentially. And they call that a plate style. It's, it's simpler, it's, it's much less expensive, uh, but it's also not anywhere near as efficient as going with a heat wheel. Um, real, uh, real basic is, here's your return air coming back from the building. Goes through a filter to protect the heat wheel. Goes through the heat wheel. I'll, I'll get back to this in a second. And then some of the air, and then that air gets exhausted out. Uh, here's your outside air coming in through a filter, through the heat wheel, and then back out to the space. This particular unit has a gas heating side to it. Uh, it has DX cooling. This is about as um, uh, the best, it, it, it's a very good way to do it. It's a very expensive way to do it. Um, but you're putting in a DX cooling unit, which is a, a refrigerant coil in this, and then gas heating. So your air, comes out of here, let's say it's 70 degrees. Yeah, so it's gonna, uh, well they have, they have the example here, but essentially it's 70 degrees coming out. This wheel, as the air flows across it, this wheel is, is rotating, just like it sounds like, just a wheel spinning around. So it gets warmer as this air passes through it, and then as this air passes through, it takes that energy back out of it, it takes the heat out of it, so. It just, again, it's, you know, basic HVAC, it's transferring heat one way or the other. So you're just taking the heat out of your return air, delivering it to your supply air, and then going back out to your space. Not every energy recovery unit has, has heating and cooling in it. Some are just a way to temper the air before it goes to another air handling system. Uh, there's space configurations, or constraints, I should say, uh, there's money constraints, so it, it, when you see the various types of systems, there's, there's some thought put into it, but um, it's, it's very rare now you see a job, a new job, that they don't have an energy recovery piece to it. Um, just just makes all the sense in the world. Um, some of these units also, um, these wheels, some are just simply transferring heat. Some actually have a, a, a desiccant or a silica gel inside them that can actually transfer take humidity out of the air on a hot day and dry it out a little bit so that as this hot air in the summer comes in, this wheel actually picks up some of that humidity, sends it up here, and it gets dried out by the warmer air and exhausted out of the building. So it's, it's, it's doing two things. You, you're helping your energy usage and you're also helping to dehumidify that air on, the, on those hot summer days. <coughs> 